The Hall Institute of Public Policy and the League of Women Voters of New Jersey present What Happens When You Go to Vote in New Jersey, a step-by-step -step guide. Hello, my name is Michael Rickards and I'm the Executive Director of the Hall Institute of Public Policy. One of the major obligations of citizens is to vote, but many people are first-time voters and are not sure how the process works. This short video, presented in partnership with the League of Women Voters of New Jersey, outlines that process and we hope that you find it useful. To find out where you go to vote, contact your municipal clerk's office. From your address, they will be able to tell you the location of your polling place. To vote in New Jersey, you must be a registered voter. If you are not a registered voter, they can also assist you in registering. On the day of the election, walk into the polling place and go up to the table that has the listing for your designated voting district. Tell the board worker your name and address. The board worker will look up your name and instruct you to sign the voting authority pad. They will then compare your signature with the one provided in the poll book. If your signature matches, the board worker will have you sign the poll book. If this is a primary election, you will be permitted only to vote for candidates of the party for which you are currently registered. In New Jersey, you are not required to show an ID to vote unless your identity could not be verified when you first registered. It is a good idea to always bring a valid form of personal ID when you vote. Identification may include, but is not limited to, a current and valid photo ID or a current utility bill, bank statement, paycheck, or other government document that shows your current and complete name and current address. If there is a problem with finding your registration when you sign in, or you do not have the necessary ID, you cannot vote on the machine. However, you are permitted to vote by filling out what is called a provisional ballot. Ask the board worker for a provisional ballot. Once your registration is verified, you will be given the bottom portion of the numbered voting authority slip you signed earlier. Take this slip to the voting machine area and hand it to the poll worker who will direct you to enter the machine. Inside the booth, you will see the candidates listed. There may also be important ballot questions or referendums on which you may vote yes or no. To vote for a candidate, press the square button to the right of the candidate's name. A green X will appear, signifying your selection. To change a selection, press the square button again. The green X will disappear and you may make a new selection. In order to cast a write-in vote, press the square button in the personal choice column located next to the office for which you wish to cast your write-in vote. A blinking green X will appear, which will allow you to type in the candidate's name for whom you wish to vote. Use the write-in keyboard in front of you. The name you have typed will appear in the lighted panel. If a correction needs to be made, use the left arrow on the keyboard to change your selection. To cast your vote, push the Enter button located on the write-in keyboard. Repeat this process for each write-in vote. Do not press the Cast Vote button until you are completely done with all of your voting selections, including any referendum or ballot questions. Once you press the cast vote button, your entire voting session is complete. You will not be permitted to re-enter the voting booth. See how easy it is to vote? If you have additional questions, please call the clerk at your local municipal hall, the county board of elections, or the New Jersey League of Women Voters at 1-800-792-8683. Thank you. See you at the polls.